I has, I still have to record four hours of real radio when I get done with our silly little internet nonsense. Yeah, let's get us to do this. Like Brutus. And kill it! <laughs> Why don't you get on the microphone, sir? You know what I like about this show? I can make slurpy noises during it. Classy. No, I was going to tell you this earlier, and I decided to wait and tell you on mic for this show because I thought it would be humorous. For people that listen to this podcast, they know that you and I say um a lot, and um, we also both go quite a little bit. <laughs> I like to chew ice sometimes, which oh. drills into your brain. You're, you got headphones on tonight, so I'm probably not going to chew ice because it would literally blow your ears out. I pop. On our other show, I cut out all that shit. Yeah, make it clean. Or the vast majority of it, anyway. On this show, I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's raw. It's raw. That's exactly what it is. It's raw. You know what else it is? It's Two Guys, One Podcast. Welcome to Two Guys, One Podcast. It's our comedy podcast. It's about boring old white men. Look, you can justify all you want to. It doesn't make it less dumb. Welcome to the Two Guys, One Podcast. The Sodom and Gomorrah yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Whose story are you telling here? I'm one guy. I like it already. <laughs> and I'm the other. I was thinking about that dude the other day. Welcome to the Two Guys, One Podcast. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of editing you got to do. Two Guys, One Podcast. Throw you a little free funny. Welcome to Two Guys, One Podcast. I lose more and more respect for you every time we do this show. <laughs> Welcome to Two Guys, One Podcast. And this is the podcast. <laughs> Welcome to Two Guys, One Podcast. I'm one guy. And I'm the other. And this is the podcast. How are you, sir? I'm good. I'm feeling good, man. I mean, it's been a great day, hasn't it? I feel it? like I am coming out of a funk I have been in for months, which I think is how depression works. <laughs> I think that's how recovery from depression works. Right. It's also how antidepressants work. Are you on your meds? No. <laughs> okay. okay. I don't like. I don't like to take pills, man. Uh, I don't either. You know what I like to take? I like to take podcasts. Shots. Shots. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Hey. <laughs> um, I, you know, I've been listening to uh, backlogs of uh, Mabimba Bam, My Brother, My Brother and Me, for a long, let's, long time. Uh, yeah, yeah. let's hear this stroke off sesh. <laughs> no, no. I was just going to reference this particular thing. They had a long joke in an episode I listened to recently talking about how a little jo- a little little John was exactly the appropriate amount. How he's perfectly named because you don't ever want a whole lot of little John. You just want you just want a little little John. And most of the time you would always welcome a little John. Like <laughs> there are very few times in your life where if somebody was like, "Hey, would you mind if a guy just ran through the room and went real quick, hey, no, I wouldn't mind that at all. Okay. That's, that would almost always add to okay, the party. let me ask you this. Yeah. <laughs> if I had the power to make little John <laughs> run through your life whenever I wanted him to. Whenever you wanted him whenever to. Whenever I not wanted, not you, whenever I, I wanted him to. And say like okay. So this is like this is like that movie The Box, except the red button doesn't kill someone. It just sends a little John. Right, right. But I've got I've got the box. Is it a full soundboard? Do you get to choose what he says too, or do you yeah, yeah, only yeah. get no. to summon him? No, I can like make him Pokemon. say. Yeah, yeah. I get to pick whatever catchphrase <laughs> He's he Poka is. John. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, so if I had the power to do that, okay, but you also had the power to do that to me, <laughs> would you be willing to give me that power? <laughs> hmm. 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 Would I trade John for John throughout eternity, as long as we both shall live? Um. Yeah. 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 I would totally do that. You're fucking crazy. I would never agree to that. Here's the deal. It's mutually, it's mutually assured um, uh, um, ball sweatation. Um, I mean, you know, like, sure, 
I could wake you up and would a few mornings at two or three in the morning with an okay, but then you would me as well. And oh, I, I would do way worse than that. You have no idea. I would ruin your life. You'd yell me on the shitter all the time. I would have you begging. I would have you fucking begging to let you do whatever I ask. You would eventually, you would, you would pretty much become my slave. Well, the one thing that we haven't decided here in this imaginary, does this magic box create two little Johns or does the fact that I push the little John button for you preclude you no, from, nope, is nope. little John busy? Do you get a busy signal nope. when you hit the, so we can no. little John each other simultaneously. It's, it's like a little John genie. <laughs> it's uh, it's like a little John orgy is when it's like. Hmm. I'm pretty sure two is not an orgy. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. But I mean there's not well there's there'd be two of them attacking two of us or yaying yaying two of us, as it were, okaying two of us. What's little Johnning? What's the verb for version? You would be you would little Johnning, what would what would the um <laughs> is it what would is the it urban yawning? dictionary? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Um, because you would be fired from your job <laughs> if I had that power. You'd bust the on only me. way you stay employed is by my good grace. <laughs> You're like, all right, all right, all right. How, when, when are you gonna When are you gonna record your show today? All right, all right. Only one little John in that slot. I promise. Okay, I'm only gonna ruin. I'm only gonna ruin one break. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right back on the station with all the hits here on OK. All of a sudden, yeah, that, no, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work. I don't, I don't work for that kind of station. In the middle of sex, little John would just be popping out. How do you like that, honey? Is that OK? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Would he pop out of her vagina in this case? Is, he, is it that sort of a of a, of, of a genie? Nah, nah. I is mean, it a vagini? Like, no. Nah, hmm. <laughs> I think I found a couple of vaginis in my life. A little vagini. <laughs> yeah. You only get one wish though, but it's always the same wish. I want to go to there. The wish, no, the wish is the, 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 every every time you find a vagini, the wish is please. Don't let me get an STD. I wish to not get a venereal disease. Vagini, thanks. Oh, on that note, let's go to the rundown. We got a word of the day. It's the berries, man. It is. Um, we're going to talk about the dumbest thing that has ever happened on the internet. I doubt we are. Uh, we're also... I'm going to talk about a dumb internet business, which might even trump the things on the premium mentioned article. We got listener mail. Ooh. Indeed. Uh, in the last episode, we had uh, um, a odd sexual relationship discussed. Uh, the the lady and the dolphin. We, oh, we, and, and the do- it's <laughs> What's fucking an animal now? Uh, well, it's not an animal, but it's maybe even weirder. We'll talk about that. And then finally... I know how the Chinese are actually going to replace us. I got it. I'm, you're going to hear it first here on Two Guys, One Pod. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's their strenuous breeding program. <laughs> that too. Uh, and then we'll wrap things up with a Zen moment. It's our word from Bob Ross. That's how we say goodbye. Um, first of all, let's go straight to the word of the day. Tell me what's the word. Uh, this is a 1920s slang. We're using words or phrases that were popular in the 1920s, fallen out of the vernacular. We're trying to bring them back into style. Uh, this week's word of the day, pull a Daniel Boone. I don't have a clue what this could be. Last night, John and I went down to the pub. He went home and pulled a real Daniel Boone. I don't, I still, not a clue. To up Chuck is to really? pull a Daniel Boone. Yeah, to throw up is to pull a Daniel. I That's don't know an where that American comes from hero. Either. I know, right? I mean, is, is it famous? Like, Daniel Boone's the one that died at the Alamo, right? Or was that Davy Crockett? He's the one that killed a bar when he was only three. I know that, but I don't know. I don't know which one died where. One of them died at the Alamo. I know that. I don't know which one. Anyway, he, is he famous for throwing up? I don't know. That's what I'm. He's like the uh, who was the football player that was always vomiting on the the fucking. I don't know, but this is my least favorite slang from the twenties. Yeah, 
pull a Daniel Boone to Upchuck. I don't know. Maybe a listener can call in and explain that. Please. 504-613-5635. 504-613-5635 if you want to leave us a voicemail. Two guys, one pod at me.com if you want to leave us an email. Anyway, so that's uh, that's the word of the day. We'll try to use that. Uh, let's go right now to the 35. We're not going to do all 35. Uh, these are the these are the dumbest things that have happened on the Internet. I don't, okay, I'm, I, I can't wait for these gems. Uh, this this is a, a tweet from uh, Freak slash Geek. I want my first daughter to be a girl. Smiley face. I uh, I'm pretty sure his Twitter account, much like the TV show, has been canceled. Uh, this this comes from Jack. Last name uh, excluded. Why do wait? The, why is that dumb? I want my first daughter. Yeah. To be a girl. Okay. What else would your daughter be? A hermaphrodite, and then you as the parent choose? No, sir. Uh, it's 10% of the population, man. That's that's not even that's, – that's yeah, but that's not what – It's like 12% of the population, that's not man. What, did, 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 did you just go It up? is clearly 18% of the population, <laughs> It's man. growing as we're talking, huh? The hermaphrodites are spreading like wildfire. This is how I win arguments. <laughs> Why – this comes from Jack. Why do women never have to take a DNA test to see if it's theirs? Yeah, that's pretty dumb. <laughs> that's, pretty dumb. That's, that's pretty fucking dumb. Uh, this is an Instagram post of a uh, of a girl's legs in a, in the bathtub. Hot dogs. Obviously bathtub. There's a drain there. There's soapy water. The whole nine yards. With a big comment below. Oh, I love hot dogs. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's not a dumb thing. That's a joke. That this comes, shouldn't, that should, who wrote this article? This comes. I demand to speak to the author. You demand to speak to BuzzFeed? Um, this comes from Rohan. He says, just found out my birthday is the same day as when I was born. Life is crazy. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay, his name's Rohan. He could be foreign, and the word birthday is new to him. So he comes to me and he's like, oh, I celebrate... Do every does every culture celebrate birthdays? I'm pretty uh, yeah. I Why? mean, like, how do you the, know? Even the ones who like okay, so like Jehovah's Witness, for instance, do, they don't do like a party. They don't do parties because they don't even do holidays and stuff. But they still recognize like the anniversary of the date of your birth. Like they believe in, they believe in the concept of time and its progress, the acknowledgement thereof. <laughs> like they believe in calendars. They just don't believe in celebrations. Like, yeah, even there might be cultures where you don't party necessarily, but there's a birthday. <laughs> I know there's a physical day they were born, but if they're not celebrating it, then it's not a birthday. That's not true. It's, it's true. Still, it's still it, it's your name day or your or your, you know, the your the day of coming, the day of, you know, whatever. Like there's an like whatever the a name naming of day the, is different than a birthday. Oh, if I am Fire born, you. if I am born at eleven fifty nine, and my parents name me at twelve oh one, my name day and my birthday two different days. Which one's on the certificate, sir? This comes from Twitter as well. Rosetta Stone did not sit on that bus for you gays to be asking for equal rights. <laughs> This comes from Isaiah. Nobody said that. Yep. Yep. This comes from Isaiah. He uh, he tweeted, where's the 2014 Brazil World Cup going to be held? Question mark. Question Why mark. Is that, what, no. Why is that a dumb question? The 2014 yeah. Brazil. You're okay. saying, he, you're asking, he's asking where within the country of Brazil? Yeah. The answer is about six different locations. Okay. Well, good. Maybe he was just asking that fucking question and whatever dickhole wrote this is just being a, a pompous ass. This uh, this I is hate on Buzzfeed, dude. This is on Twitter as well. This is it's the name's been marked out. Did they come up with nine one one as the police number after nine eleven? Hashtag wondering. That's a generational question. That's a fourteen year old. Yeah, if you well, even if it's not a fourteen, like you know, a nineteen year old. I don't know how long. How long ago was nine eleven? Two thousand and one. Yeah, so thirteen years ago. Or two thousand. We'll no, never. So, we'll never was, forget. <laughs> How far a drive is it from Miami to Florida? 
<laughs> um, why are you laughing? There's a Florida, Texas. That ain't what that dude meant. You don't know. That ain't what that dude meant. Um. Uh, okay. This this is also from Twitter. Somebody tried to tell me there was fifty states in America. Nuh uh, because the scientists found out that Pluto don't exist. We got forty nine, dumbass. That's somebody obviously making it like that's taken out of context. That's obviously somebody making fun of someone else. This is posted on Facebook. So I heard it was fine putting your phone in the microwave to charge it. My charger broke yesterday. My battery was pretty low, so I thought I'd give it a go. This happened. Thumbs up. <laughs> okay. So while I was on the playground today. <laughs> I heard of you peeing a girl's mouth, she gets pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> I also heard of you wrap um, used batteries up in tinfoil and stick them in the refrigerator. They'll be fully charged again. I don't know about girls, <laughs> but if you pee in my mouth, I'm going to pull a Daniel Boone. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Nailed it. You really did. You really did, you son of a bitch. All right, let's go to a little listener mail. Son of a bitch. Javale. Javale is here. Ooh. Uh, this comes from my first roommate. She um, she sent a text message in in response to uh, last week's listener mail, as a matter of fact. We had not in response to Eaglet Joe. Uh, she was answering... Strong arms in Nashville. We had the discussion about the real mower, the 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 push yeah, mower, the man. old school. Uh, you know, like your like your great granddad would use. Um, I, your well, your great granddad, I guess, would go back to like <laughs> tilling the yard. Well, he would just be like, "Why would you want to plant grass in a yard? <laughs> Why would I want to actively grow a crop?" <laughs> that yields no uh, results. Dude, my dad is a great granddad. Really? Yeah. A great grandfather? Yeah, see, there's me, so he's a dad. And then your your brothers and sisters don't have, have had, grandchildren. Yo, yeah. You have my a, eldest, yeah. Your oldest brother? My oldest sister. Your oldest sister has 3 kids, one of which has, has a, a child. baby. Yeah. Oh my. Oh my. My dad's just old. All right, then. I mean, my dad's a little old. He's not that old. He's 10 years older than my mother. (laughs) Uh, My dad's 10 years older than my mom, too. You have older brothers. Yeah, I got got a brother. um, He's 12 years older than me, actually. Yeah, and you're telling me he couldn't have grandkids? No, yeah, I mean, I guess, well, I, technically he does, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, it's by marriage, so he's not Same not difference. His. No, you're right, you're right. So technically, I suppose my father is also a great-grandfather. Yeah, Look so you that. can't use that. That's not a reference for us anymore. All right, very good point, I guess. Well, our dads didn't use these. That's true. So we have to go, wait a minute. No, my dad go, did use this. Okay, your dad did use it. Well, my dad didn't, I don't think. Anyway, this comes from my first roommate. She has a real mower, uses it. Every fucking week. I will not believe this without photographic evidence. She. Uh, all right. I'm gonna. There. I'm. There you go. There's the challenge. First roommate. We need. We need photos. Or it didn't happen. Uh. She says. You, she uses the real. Mode. Why? Why? She says you have to use it weekly at least. She had to get a running start and use it. The, she had to get a running start to use it the first time uh, that she tried it. The gra- grass was too long. It helps though. This is how she gets away with using it. She lives in Arizona. In Arizona, they oh, measure, yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, they Who, measure really? their yards in square feet. Exactly. Really? Yeah. So it's like there's some some patches of grass. It's like don't it's run like over a, the cacti. Hey, hey, go mow the tea box with your real mower. Yeah, <laughs> that's ridiculous. Um. Okay, so we just talked about the dumbest things that ever happened on the internet. Having a real lawn mower in Arizona, I think, is one of them. Uh, this is. Uh, that's not the dumbest thing. Let me tell you what the dumbest fucking thing that ever happened on the internet is. Have you heard of the company called Washboard? Washboard Washboard.co. That's where I got these abs, son. No, sir. No, sir. Washboard.co. Um, hang on just a second. Wait a minute. Is it a musical washboard? Uh, no. Uh, nearly 100%. 
Oh, wait, they've already shut it down. They've already shut it down, apparently. Yeah, wow. Okay, so there's a liter- There's a, literally a letter and a video here from the founder and CEO. I just read about this shit the other day. This is how fast the internet works. Okay, so here's... That's why it's not worth keeping up with. I Well, no, it's... Okay, I, here's... here's um, I'm going to pull up uh, one of the articles about it. Okay. All right. So here's the the um, the idea of the project. They would you, you sign put up mafia money in, you get clean money <laughs> out. That's <laughs> yes, right. It's, it's it was hey, hey how how we know that uh, how we know that uh, money laundering wasn't legal on the internet. We what thought do you, what uh, do you do? It's why everything's legal on the internet. You don't got to pay taxes. Amazon Amazon ain't got to pay no taxes, right? Yeah. yeah, you just you just put it through the washboard. That's right, just put it through the washboard. Sometimes you put in a five and you get out a hundred. Sometimes you put in a five and you don't get it. You don't get nothing. But, but you, it's on the up and up. It's on the <laughs> internet. All you got to do is be quiet about it. All right. Yeah, don't <laughs> nobody need to know. All right. Well, people were not quiet about washboard. What? Here's the idea of washboard. You'd sign up for a subscription, and every month, on a regular schedule, whatever schedule you ask for, they would mail you. Rolls of quarters for your for for your laundry. That's the idea. Hey, I have to do laundry. I live in a big city. The banks all close early hours. The convenience stores never want to give me more than a you know a dollar or two in change. I just want you to send me two rolls of quarters every month or whatever. Every laundry mat I have ever been to has a change machine. Yeah, me too. That's kind of what I thought too. Here's the real kicker, though. How much do you think that ten twenty five cost? A uh, roll of quarters is ten bucks. Yes, yes. A roll of quarters. Ten, ten, the 20, value of that is ten dollars. Ten twenty five. I'm trying to. Where is the? Hang on a minute. Okay, okay. All right. So this article doesn't actually have. Let me let me see if there's an article that has the full price list here. I'm looking at Gawker. I'm looking at a lot of different places. Okay. So if you wanted to get twenty dollars worth of quarters a month. Okay. All right. It would cost you twenty seven dollars as a subscription. That is ridiculous. Ten dollars worth of quarters was a fifteen dollar subscription, I believe. I think there was a five dollar. They were taking five of your dollars to the send only you way back that, the, the other ten. The only way for that to work for me is ten twenty five. Uh, you mean a quarter? They're charging you a quarter to hang on to your to your to give me a roll ten bucks. Yeah. Well, the problem is a quarter wouldn't cover shipping. They're literally mailing you rolls of quarters. Hey, man, I'm not I'm not the one <laughs> running this on business. <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm telling you as a consumer what I would do it for. Well, apparently there were quite a few people. I the um okay, so the And I don't even have to go to the laundry mat. I just need something to go into socks. Caleb Brown is the is one of the founders names. Um you just need something to go into socks. <laughs> Um, can I just get one month worth of quarters? <laughs> that way it's not traceable back to me. Then I'm going to punch this this company's owner in the mouth <laughs> with my sock full of quarters. Yeah. Um, Caleb Brown and Sean, uh, somebody, he didn't say Sean's name. Anyway, they were the guys, two, two guys behind this. He said they already had actually a lot of... A lot of paying customers. They had a lot of people that were down with this service. And like I tried to really, of course, it's easy for you and me. We live in a small town. We both have washing machines in our houses, et cetera, et cetera. If you put yourself in an urbanite mindset, which was what I was trying to do, I was like, okay. So I live in a high rise in New York, for instance. Most of those buildings don't have, you got like one, you know, laundromat in the whole fucking building maybe or one on every few floors or whatever. You can't put a washing and drying machine in your house or whatever. Or in your unit, you know. And I understand. It's a pain in the ass maybe to go get quarters. You and I can go to the convenience store and probably get a roll of quarters. We can go to the bank and get a roll of quarters. You can't necessarily do those things in a big city. But even in a big city, I'm not paying you $7 to find me change, right? So why did they get shut down? Well, they didn't get shut down. They shut themselves down because everyone on the Internet made fun of them. Literally everyone on the Internet made fun of them, except for the people that were already paying them money. I think it's fucking dumb. Yeah, the moral of the story is don't have any ideas, people. You stay in your little shells. 
Yeah, you know what I don't need? I don't need any more goddamn ideas. But you know what I do fucking need? Somebody to take the garbage from my house to the landfill. <laughs> Would you pay $7 a month for that service, sir? I, f- I already do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so last week, last week we talked about the lady uh, fucking the dolphin. Or, well, to fool it around with jacking off yeah. the dolphin, at least. She wasn't fucking the dolphin necessarily. Pleasing the, she was flogging the dolphin. <laughs> she was literally flogging the dolphin, yes. That was weird. This is more weird. This comes from news.sky.com. Reputable. Uh, it's uh, from our friends overseas in the UK. Headline, Granny, 72, having a baby with her grandson. It's fucking weird. Let's just unravel that for a minute. Grandmother has shocked her friends and family after revealing. Imagine that they, they were they were surprised. Were they? Can you imagine that fight that would break out? Like she's like she's like. <laughs> what's his? What does it have his name? Uh yeah. Uh, her name is Pearl. His name is Phil. Feel you cheated. <laughs> Feel you cheated. Yeah, because that would be their fight. Because come on, he's gonna cheat on a fucking seventy-six-year-old woman. Oh, I don't think so. Oh, you just wait in here. Phil is Phil is sold out for that pussy. Or 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 the uh, or the fanny, the fanny as they call it over there in the UK. I think I don't know. It's Granny's fanny. <laughs> mm. I'm pretty sure that's a porn site. So Pearl Carter is seventy-two. She says she's never been happier. After beginning an incestuous relationship with her 26 year old grandchild, Phil Bailey, the pensioner from Indiana. Uh, Is she loaded? Uh, no, I don't think so. She's from Indiana, in the United States, actually. She's using her pension to pay a surrogate mother so that they can have a child. This is uh, as reported. Oh, that's not. What? It's not the same thing, yeah. Well, she's 72. You didn't think she was having an actual baby, did you? <laughs> that thing come out if like she's a not, then ball. why the fuck do I care about the article? He's still fucking his grandmother. Who, that happens daily. Does it really? I mean, now? not maybe grandmother, but. <laughs> it's, 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 it's 12% of the population. <laughs> it's 15% of the population. 18% of the population fucking their grandmothers all the time. <laughs> You've already done it, but this makes me Daniel Boone, sir. <laughs> this makes me Daniel Boone. All right. Here's the deal. This is what happened, and you might imagine this is, this is what happened. Uh, he stuck his pee. And her, well, it looks like a W now. <laughs> Pearl gave his mother up for adoption when when she was a baby. So Pearl had it. Pearl was pregnant when she was eighteen years old. Do you think he? Do you think he just calls it giving her a necklace? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna give you another you necklace. No, you're too. Ter- oh God! Now you made me do it. All right. No. Okay. So. Uh, so the mom was put up for adoption. When the mom passed away, Phil tracked down his la- his long lost grandmother. They very quickly fell in love. Pearl tells the new uh, New Idea magazine, "From the first moment that I saw him, I knew I, I wanted to suck his dick. I knew we would never have a grandmother grandson relationship. For the first time in years, I felt sexually alive. What? <laughs> it was during their second week together after dinner and wine." That Pearl made her move. I called Phil into my bedroom. I set him on the bed, then I leaned over and kissed him, she added. I expected rejection, but instead he kissed me back. Phil revealed, I wanted to kiss her there and then. My feelings were overwhelming. I love Pearl with all my heart. I've always been attracted to older women. You don't say, Phil. I've always been attracted to older women, and I think Pearl's gorgeous. Now I'm going to be a dad, and I can't wait. Yes, we get laughed at and bullied when we go out and kiss in public, but we don't care. Can't help who you fall for, other guy. Yeah, you can. I agree. Your grandmother's one of them. I don't look. I don't care how sexy grandma looks in her nighty. Keep that shit to yourself. Okay. Are you saying there is nothing that my grandmother could do to develop a sexual relationship with me? No, I'm saying it's like it's like you either have to have sex with your grandmother or <laughs> oh. you have to do this. I mean, have sex with my grandmother or 
You have to have sex Cause with Cause a new uh, uh, holocaust? You have to have sex with your grandmother or be raped by a gorilla. Think maybe raped by a gorilla. You have to have sex. It's. I'll admit though, it's close. <laughs> you have to have sex with your grandmother, or you have to drink a cup of well sperm with every meal. Every, for how long? The rest of your fucking life. <laughs> Do I have to have sex with my grandmother for the rest? No, of my just life? once. <laughs> Is there some is there some uh, nutritional value to whale sperm that I'm not currently familiar with? Is there some that you are currently familiar with? <laughs> uh, no. No, no, that'd be a that'd be a, no sir. Um I don't know. I think I would uh I th- I think I would probably choose grandma in that respect. In that case. Maybe. But again, it's close. <laughs> We've just learned that you're a granny fucker. The bear paid $54,000 to find a surrogate mother and buy a donor egg to inseminate with fuel sperm. What the f- What fucking surrogate agrees to that? Interesting that you ask because they interview her in the article as well. Her name's Roxanne. Roxanne. <laughs> you don't have to turn on that red light. Um, <laughs> she's not walking yeah, the streets for money yeah, anymore. Yeah, though, because... She? We're about to put an egg in you <laughs> yes, that will right. completely stop your red light. Uh, so so they placed an advertisement asking for an open-minded surrogate, and Roxanne applied. Initially, I was shocked, says Roxanne. <laughs> Interesting. She reacted just like the family did. Uh, Roxanne's 30 years old, by the way. But they're a brilliant player, and I saw how much they loved each other. I know the baby will be loved as well. Pearl said... By who? Yeah, yeah, because Pearl's going to die. I don't know how to tell you this. And Phil is going to be busy chasing older women. Yeah, and everybody's going to be making fun of that kid. Pearl said, I am finally going to be a mom and not forced to give up my child. Phil's going to be a great dad. And eventually, a wonderful lover to our grandchildren. (laughs) Oh, that's fucked up. That article doesn't say that. (laughs) No, no, I added that part. That was good. I never in a million years thought at 72 I'd be pregnant and in love with my grandson. But you're not (laughs) pregnant. (laughs) No, no one, no. I'm so glad that she didn't imagine it. She never, never in a million years imagined that I'd be in love with my grandson. Uh, I make no apologies, and I believe God's given me a second chance to fuck my own progeny. What's What's the title of this article again? Granny 72 having baby with her grandson. See, it's completely misleading. She, completely misleading. She's she not having a for, baby. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you like Dolly Parton says about her, her breasts and hair. She paid for it. It's hers. He provided the sperm. She provided the, the moolah. The, the do-re-mi. Look, there's a co- – like this aggravates me in the exact same way that the saying – The early bird gets the worm frustrates me. Okay. How so? The early bird gets the worm. What does that mean? It's because, you know, so the the worm is out there on the concrete. And if you wait, he's not going to be out out there on the concrete after the rain because he's going to go back down in his fucking hole. The early bird sees the, the worm out there and snags him. If you're the third or fourth bird out the nest, it's too late. All the worms are eaten. That's the saying, at least. Yeah. So it's like if you're the industrious bird, right? Right. If the you bird outworking the other birds. You get fed. Right. But what about from the worm's point of view? He's out <laughs> hustling the other worms. He's working harder than those lazy fucking worms that slept in. And what happens to his ass? <laughs> no, because we're not talking about sleeping in worms. We're talking about worms after a rain when they're when they're No, no, no. We're talking a- we're talking about a lesson. <laughs> but from only one point of view. That's like saying that's like that's like saying me as a white guy. That would be like me saying, "Oh, slavery was great." <laughs> I I disagree. Yeah, but- sure, it was great for a fucking fucking slave owner. It's terrible <laughs> for the people who are slaves. Sure, getting that worm is great for the early bird. It's terrible for the fucking early worm. Um. 
it's a dumb saying. It's it's a it's a it's a very insensitive saying. You think the um, you think the worms in our in our uh, audience are like really how unfair is that? How unfair that? is that? It's pretty unfair. I think the worms are, you know, and the real thing about they're the worms aerating is, the soil, man. They're allowing things to grow. The real thing about the worms is, son number one told me, taught me the other night. The mm. Worms have brains all throughout their bodies too, so they're feeling this everywhere. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's totally fucked up. I agree. Um, so I'm boycotting. I will never use the term. The early bird gets the worm. All right. How about the- Just uh, like I'm sure people in the 30s and 40s decided, you know what? I'm not going to use I'm not gonna use uh, uh, pulling a Daniel Boone anymore because it's fucking stupid. So I'm not saying I'm killing it. Killing the phrase. The early bird gets the worm. Dead after 2014. That dead, huh? Gone. Gone. Somebody doing a podcast in 2030 will be like, hey, we're going to bring back terms- from, from the uh, from the what are these? These aren't the aughts anymore. These are the let's say the, let's say twenty fifty. The two teens, yeah, and they're gonna be like, so we're gonna use the word, uh, we're gonna use the phrase, the early bird gets the worm, and my ghost will fucking come out and go down their throat and choke them to death. All right, so we won't say the early bird gets the worm, although we've said it many times now. How about the uh, the in, the industrious Chinese gets the sperm? Yeah, I think I think. That's that's totally a good added. phrase. Yeah. All right. Here's here's the article. This is from uh, iflscience.com uh, in their technology section. Headline: Automatic sperm extractor introduced into a Chinese hospital. Whoa! I, <laughs> I was born with two automatic sperm extractors. What three, the fuck? Three of your flexible or try yoga. Um, <laughs> automatic sperm extractor introduced into a Chinese hospital. So. This, I think, is the next step in the the move towards Skynet or the Matrix or what whatever. What does it do? It is. It looks like. Um, well, it looks it's like just a, a flashlight. It's a flashlight, except it's in a like an ATM machine. Pretty what? Much. Chinese hospital in Nanjing, capital of Yongsao Province, has introduced a new machine that makes sperm donation even easier. An automatic sperm extractor. I'm all for hands-free technology. It is. It is a fucking flashlight and an ATM machine. <laughs> but have scientists gone a little too far with this invention? The effortless machine uh, features a massage pipe that can be adjusted. Who is – Who is? is that in the hallway in a hospital? <laughs> like looks, a weight machine? Like guess your weight? <laughs> no, I'm assuming it's on wheels, right? Like you wheel it into a private room like you do like the heart monitor machine. Like you wheel it in and I check it out. I don't mind using a heart monitor machine after someone else. <laughs> I do not want to use the automatic sperm extractor I'm going to assume, after someone else. I'm going to assume that it's got an insert that is replaceable. Like there's like everything that you're actually touching gets 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 taken out and thrown away like hazardous materials. It have to be, right? It have to be. Here's the the whole point of the massage pipe. By the way, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to try I'm gonna try to suggest a honey bun. You know, that this she is, give me the old massage pipe the next this time. This is uh, this. I think that this also works as WTF. What is WTF? When technology fucks. Oh, all right. Uh, all the gentleman has to do is plug in the frequency, amplitude, and temperature. <laughs> oh my god! If think you about this. Make, no, no, no. If you're a necrophiliac, this oh, is a way to get your rocks oh, off terrible. in secret. It's also filled with a small screen for those feeling uninspired, so you can actually watch porn there on top. Uh, according to the director of the urology department of the hospital, the machine is designed to help individuals that are finding it difficult to retrieve sperm the old-fashioned way. We're not entirely convinced that standing in a room shared by many people and being milked like a cow is going to help. But what? How the are fuck are they getting? What? Yeah, apparently it is. You're standing in a room. Like, look, there's there's many of them lined up here next to each other. Like, look, I'm showing you in the. Oh my God! What a terrible fucking motion to look at, by the way. Oh, that—that's like the least sexy thing I've ever and seen. And of course, that's what you do—is you put your finger. Yeah, in you it. gotta put your finger. Well, I mean, because you're not gonna put your penis in front of it, in front of the camera. Do you think it's one size fits all? Well, the inside looks like just like a like a flashlight or something. Like it's that like foam rubber and stuff, so it expands. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's one size fits all. Maybe they've got like a grande too that you could. <laughs> no, they can't because if they had a grande, then every guy would use the grande. <laughs> just be like, oh, no, I'll, I'll take the big one. <laughs> this is terrible. Look, I think this is a horrible fucking idea to have in a hospital. 
But if you want to put one in my if you want to put one in my bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> you saying if they sold this for home use, you might be interested in a Kickstarter. <laughs> I, yeah. The Expecto Patronum 2000? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, side effects. No corporal tunnel. Side effects. Elevated mood. <laughs> <laughs> Increased, uh, what's, what, what are you, what's in the, the technical term for tiredness? Fatigue. <laughs> Increased fatigue. <laughs> That's right. All right, you ready for our word from Bob Ross this week? Maybe. All right, we're going to wrap this up as we do every week. First of all, stop by twoguysonepod.com. Uh, invite your friends to check out the show and uh, give us a review on iTunes and Stitcher. Uh, if uh, you listen to us there, we appreciate it. It's a great way for other people to find us. Uh, every week we like to wrap things up with a little zen moment. It's our word from Bob Ross. You can find more at bobrossquotes.com. Here's this week's word. This is the hardest part of this method. If you can do this, you can do anything. If you can extract sperm from the I feel like standing Chinese, in a group of guys with your dick in a machine is the hardest part of the process. the hardest process. part of this method. <laughs> you ever tried, to, ever tried to come in a room full of Chinese men? <laughs> <laughs> it's the hardest part of this method. <laughs> I just think about happy little trees. <laughs> Uh, happy little yees. That's, that's what happens. Oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> Until next week, <laughs> I'm one guy. And I'm the other. And this has been the podcast.
what? That's a wise. <laughs> that's a wise man. <laughs> yeah, I like. I like that we have to choose which podcast we're going to do first based, based on, on my potty mouth. Yeah, me not pissing you off. <laughs> <sighs> Did you want to know? You want to know? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> if we put out, if we put out. Two-